Hello, today's quick tip is going to focus on updating the firmware on your AIM hardware and we're going to use a Solo 2 to demonstrate. Now I've got Race Studio 3 loaded here, I'm just going to bring up the software and one of the things that you may notice is that over here on the right hand side the little cloud is blue and there's a white down arrow. That means there is some kind of download that's available. Now if I click on that there's a lot of options that come up. Um, if this is uh, in bold, it means that there's an update uh, to the Race Studio 3 software itself. Right now I have the latest version. And any of these particular items here that is in bold means that that software is available. Now, uh, I've actually downloaded the uh, Solo 2 and Solo DL updates. If I want to see what that's actually going to do, all I need to do is click on this view release history and it's going to show me by connecting to the internet um, what's actually been upgraded and you can see here there's been a few updates um, that have been made available um, right here. Now go back to the Race Studio software and the next thing we need to do is actually connect to the device. So uh, this is a Solo 2, it's Wi-Fi enabled so I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose my device which is, uh, which is right here in the menu bar. So I'm going to click on that, uh, wait a couple of seconds as it starts to, uh, to connect and um, I always click on these to transmit uh, arrows here to be able to wait uh, for the device to actually connect itself uh, to the software. Sometimes this takes a few moments, but typically you'll see the device will appear here uh, in the menu bar as we progress. So there you go. So now it's connected to uh, my AIM Solo 2. And the first thing you can see is that there is a little circle uh, of arrows here that uh, if you hover over it, it says that uh, uh, new firmware is available for your device. If I click on that, it's going to take me back to this menu again, but it's going to appear here, but there's a new piece of information that's available up here called update the device. And if I click here, um, it's going to ask me which device is there. I'm going to click there. I don't need to. It's already highlighted. And I'm just going to say update the device uh, to the latest version. I click there and uh, it's going to execute. It's going to transmit with the device and it's going to update the firmware that I have on the system. Now, some of the devices that you have may require you to have um, a physical connection, such as a plug-in uh, via USB to your device. I have a, um, uh, an Evo 4S in one of my uh, cars, and that requires me to plug in via USB. Others, like the Solo 2 or the MXL, MXS, all different devices are actually Wi-Fi enabled, so you have uh, many different ways of being able to connect your device but the same process applies here that in the list that you're going to see will tell you which devices have got new firmware you can download it onto a computer and then update your device and so there you go nice and easy way of being able to upgrade um, and uh, once the device is finished it'll turn itself off turn itself back on and you're ready to go so thank you very much